it is something that allows something to flower. It is the sunlight. It is the rain that you know creates a forest. I mean, a kind of spiritual, transformational, visionary energy that lets you keep walking because the mountains are there and you can see them. And they're a long way away, but we see them and we're gonna keep going. That is what the presence of the arts are about, is to remind people not to walk looking at your feet. It's totally irrational, <laughs> which can make it very liberating. You sometimes center moments in time that you just feel, I really don't know where I'm going. It's to just open up more potential for humanity. Queer work of art uh, evokes emotion, beauty. Art has always been essential to life since the beginning of civilization and human experience. What are we if not culture? And what artists can do is take what's actual, this fact that culture and identity is so critical to human existence, and they can distill it into something that carries it further or suggests a future or connects us to the past to see further, metaphorically and actually. Ideas always start with questions. We try to answer those questions in relationship to creating a visual platform for it to present into the world to an audience. That public receives that work and it can charge them with a very different degree of empathy. You're catapulted into a world that you didn't even ever imagine existed. And it changes what you get to carry as a human being. If you're interested in the relevance of art to our society at large, the idea of studying art in a university of the scale and breadth of UCLA, I just find very powerful. What we'd be able to offer our students is the ability to place that artistic practice within a broader context. What's really attractive about this place is the laboratory-like nature of the classes and the departments that we have that critical thinking is absolutely front and center, but not to the exclusion of the making of art. Because this is a research university, I think it ignites something in students differently. Their teachers and instructors are also researchers. They have different kinds of ways in which they're continuing to push and expand knowledge. The School of Arts and Architecture is interdisciplinary. You can't have any of the other disciplines without the arts having a place. There's a great spirit of borrowing from different disciplines, melding that into sort of a new way of thinking. This is a research university. I'm interested in the architectural program, participating like it would in the School of Medicine, Biology, name your discipline. In the ways that we bridge art and technology, in the ways that we bridge art and the sciences. The interdisciplinarity allows you, first of all, to not entrench yourself into your own methods and knowledge. A lot of the times, the specialization decontextualizes what you're doing. How do we understand the moral and ethical universe that we're sharing? The presence of the arts is actually to give everything its proper weight and dimensionality. It's the actual connectivity that allows science to be science, social work to be social work, but to keep its human dimension and its spiritual aspiration. What is shifting is the role that arts and culture plays in addressing some of our most pressing challenges. Artists are creative people and they're looking for creative solutions about how we can start taking on the challenges in the world. Our role is to try so many different problems. Issue of traffic, ethnicity, diversity in the culture. From homelessness to affordable housing. Environmental awareness and global concerns. As the world changes, the way that we can think and express ourselves in relation to that changes along with it. Artists consistently have greater skills in actually their ability to break down a problem and solve it creatively. And I think that is applicable to many more things than just your art. We have the capacity to invent and speculate about something, to imagine. So when you take out that of the conversation, you really leave a civilization without imagination, a civilization without the capacity to see where are we going. An artist in society is really the lineage legacy carrier of human history. 
So the most inspiring thing is finding the ways in which a persistence of vision and an integrity of purpose keeps an extraordinary, generous, imaginative offer in the world and that it stays in motion.